a picture of horror. In the grey stony cleft of a mountain range high in the southern French Alps, rescue workers extract debris and bodies from the crash site of the German wings Airbus A320. Helicopters operating around the crash zone started the process of airlifting the remains of the 150 victims involved in the tragedy on Wednesday. With the mountainous crash site based at an altitude of 1,500 metres, it's significantly difficult for recovery teams to comb the site for the bodies of victims as well as wreckage. The site can only be reached by helicopter or a lengthy hike. It's said to be a three-hour walk from the nearest road. The state prosecutor based in Marseille has said the identification procedure is going to last several weeks and that there's little chance that complete bodies will be recovered. The debris of the doomed plane lies scattered across the side of a mountain, a sharp ridge and steep slope that's difficult to access. Fleets of helicopters are now shuttling in a constant clatter between the temporary airfield in a nearby ski resort and the isolated valley where the plane disintegrated. Debris is scattered widely on the hillside. Coloured items can be seen strewn across the landscape. Aerial footage shows how the plane was completely pulverised. No part of the plane, as well as bodies, aren't whole. The largest piece of wreckage is said to be little more than the size of a car. There are 15 specialists on site, 10 to take DNA samples and five detectives running the legal investigation. This includes forensic dentists, medical anthropologists and DNA specialists, as well as several dozen dedicated search and recovery workers deployed to label and catalogue each human fragment.